Alright gamers, there's been an XP glitch in Halo 5 for years, but back then no one really knew or talked about it, and in today's time, just a few people know what it is, how to do it, and that it even exists. It is extremely overpowered and can earn you double the XP that Mythic Firefight gives, however it solely relies on boosts, Warzone boosts. It is also impossible to do this trick solo, you need another person in the fire team. The fire team leader will search normal Warzone on focused for a millisecond. Everyone else in the fire team will then open the Warzone boost menu. The fire team leader then backs out of the Warzone lobby and goes into an arena lobby, search up arena, and now everyone else in the fire team equips whatever Warzone boost they want. And now, for an arena game as short as 3 minutes, the players who equipped Warzone boosts will benefit from huge amounts of XP that Warzone boosts actually give. So now you know what the glitch is and how to do it. But is it worth it? What are its limitations? And if it's worth it, what mode do you play? Well, first we need to dive into its limitations. You need someone else to be in the fire team and to be the fire team leader. And said fire team leader cannot equip the Warzone boost, only everyone else in the fire team. This is because they need to navigate the menus, and so if they have their Warzone boost menu up, it's impossible for them to navigate elsewhere. The only other limitation, but the obvious one, is that you'll need boosts. A lot of them. Games take 5 minutes on average, that's 12 boosts per hour. If you grind 4 hours a day, that's 48 boosts per day. If you're buying legendary XP boosts for $5 per 20 boosts on the Xbox store, link below, then that's about $12 per day per grinding. But let's break it down even more. Let's say you're good with spending money on legendary boosts, or let's say you have plenty of other wars on XP boosts, rare, jackpots. Are all of those other boosts worth it? Let's calculate. First, we need to pick the most reliable mode with the shortest games. A perfect one is SWAT. Games are almost never above 5 minutes long and always average around 2-4 to four minutes long. And SWAT is always present, so you'll always be able to use it for this XP glitch. Here's a screenshot of a game I just played. It was on the slower spectrum due to two of my teammates quitting. SWAT barely gives any XP, but I'd easily say 1000 is the average because if you win, you'll be getting a bonus of a couple hundred. So now, let's do our calculations for each type of boost. Legendary Warzone XP boost gives 11,250 XP. Playing a game of SWAT makes this 12,250. If we play 12 games of SWAT per hour, the minimum, 20 games the maximum, we'll be getting 147,000 XP per hour. Minimum. If we play 20 games of SWAT per hour, we'll be getting 250,000 XP per hour. That is if SWAT games take 3 minutes, excluding search times. The rare boost gives roughly 4,500 XP. If we play 12 games and 20 games are minimum and maximum, We'll get 66,000 XP and 111,000 XP an hour, respectively. Jackpot XP boosts vary greatly. Sometimes they can give you less than 4,500, sometimes they can give you 10,000. So for jackpots, I'm going to say anywhere from 50,000 XP an hour minimum to 150,000 XP an hour maximum. It's much more of a gamble using these boosts, but will most likely pay off if all you have are rare boosts. Now let's look at all these stats side by side and compare them to Mythic Firefight. In one of my previous XP guide videos, I constructed this chart. In just 13 minutes for winning Mythic Firefight, we got about 14,000 XP with no boosts. For these calculations I'm going to do for Mythic, I'm going to do one calculation for 12 minutes a game minimum and 20 minutes a game maximum. That's 6 games an hour at best and 3 games an hour at worst. So 20 minutes for 15,000 XP per game. With Legendary Boost, 3 games of 26,250 XP per hour is 78,750 XP per hour. For 6 games, that's 157,000 XP per hour. For Rare Boosts, adding 4,500 to the 15,000 per game is 19,500 per game. For 3 games, the minimum per hour is 58,500. For 6 games, the maximum per hour is 117,000. For Jackpots, minimum you'll get 15,000 an hour, and maximum you'll get 140,000 an hour. So, as we see here, this glitch is only effective if you have a good source of legendary Warzone boosts. And when you do have legendary boosts, it is insanely beneficial. Otherwise, it's a mix and mostly up to personal preference. Personally, I just stick with Mythic Firefight to save the hassle of a fireteam leader needing to search Warzone for a millisecond just for you to open the boost menu. But if you have a surplus of legendary boosts or are okay with spending $5 per 20 boosts, I'd highly recommend this strategy. It will save you loads of time. So that pretty much sums it up. This glitch is a beast and will get you to 152 insanely fast if you have enough legendary boosts and if you have someone who can be the leader. Otherwise, I'd probably stick to Mythic Firefight. If you need people to do this glitch with, or if you need a fire team leader, then head over to the link in the description of the Whiskey Discord for my Spartan company. There's a lot of people grinding for 152 there, and definitely a lot of people grinding with this method. If this was helpful in any way, please consider subscribing and supporting the dream. Thanks for watching, peeps.